All right, so I've got a Frigidaire Affinity here. It's uh, giving me the door open. This model is the uh, FASE7073LA0, but I believe this applies to a bunch of other Frigidaires. Um, so the uh, it's, it's saying that the door is open when you try to start it, no matter if you push the button or not. So I'll put that. And I've, uh, I've actually tested the button, the button's fine. Um, you can actually just pull it out, just yank on it. You can pull it all the way out and wiggle it and you can get the connectors from the back side. And so from the, the top here, if we follow the button wires down, we'll go around back. They actually come all the way down this left side and then right in here, I, I took this uh, electrical tape apart. You can see a connector. Um, there's actually three wires spliced together there. And then it's a pink and white wire, like this one. Oops, it's kind of hard to see. If you can follow that and the brown wire up to here, and you can actually test, test the, this brown wire. And you can test the, uh, the pink and white, and that'll make sure that your button, make sure the, the wires and everything are going all the way through, as long as you've got the, uh, the door closed, or uh, hold it with your hand or something. All right, so I shoved my leads in there off camera, make it easier for you. So now if I come over here and push the button, I'll just push it with my hand, you see that we get continuity, so that proves that the, the button itself is functional. So here's a better shot of the connector, of uh, the orange wire from the button on the front, and the uh, the pink and white wire is actually goes over here. So these, I've got them pulled out, and these normally go to the exhaust. Okay, I've, I've got pulled off here, and on that is the thermal limiter switch. All right, so I've got the uh, the new thermal limiter switch installed. Uh, so I'm going to show you real quick. You want Continuity, and here's the old one, just to test it. You get nothing. And if you don't have a multimeter, I'd definitely recommend buying a better one than mine. But uh, they, they come in handy. All right, so I finally got the uh, the new thermal limiter switch fully installed, so you can see what that normally looks like. Now, to without pulling any of this stuff out, you can actually just bridge. And bridge the, uh, the the leads um, I did it with like a screwdriver um, just make sure you don't bottom it out to short it and then you can actually test it and I got the dryer to run just by shoving a screwdriver between those or you can take them apart and tape them together while it's unplugged um, just be, be really careful most of the time you just leave the dryer unplugged just be safe Mess. See how it's working. I'm just gonna uh, finish putting everything back together, and we're good to go.